Pat Nolan with Single T for Canine Cop Magazine. Here's why they call it Single T. You draw a line to each of the piles of bumpers and it looks like a T. We always start the drill by throwing a bumper to the pile. It identifies the location of the pile and engages the retrieve or prey drive in the dog. Now this is a young dog and he's trying to go before I send him. With a check cord I can prevent him from being rewarded for breaking. I can correct him with a choke chain correction there and I don't have to use a collar to stop him and call him back. The e-collar to stop him and call him back. So we run him on a check cord. We're going to gradually shape, improve his obedience on the line. We always start the drill by marking the pile and then we line to the pile. The first he went on the retrieve, now he goes on command. Throughout the full T drill we will send to the back pile every time. We will stop on the center line and cast one of the four directional casts, left and right back, left and right over. Nice stop. Now I want him to go turn to my left and go straight back. I raise my left hand straight up. We think of the dog in one clock face. I'm in another. He has to go to his 12 o'clock. I point to my 12 o'clock. I don't try to point where I want him to go. We teach him the signals that we'll we will use at a distance later on. We stop every other time and line through every other time. A little bit of a roll or a flare there. We put force on the outside, force on back, command back, tap with the collar, command back again. You can read a description of this drill in the November issue of the Canine Cop magazine. <coughs> Now we cast right hand back. When we raise the left hand, we want him to turn to our left and go back. When we raise the right hand, we want him to turn to our right and go back. This dog was taught the three components of the drill first. He was collar conditioned, force fetched, and then he had the three main components. Force to a pile, so that you go when you're sent. Casting, so he knows to take directional commands from a remote position, and then he was stopped on the way to the pile. We put them together for the first time in this drill, single T. Having a little trouble getting him to line up there. We want him to line up straight at heel. Look out straight and go straight using a leash to readjust, to realign. A pretty good s alignment there. Get him to look out. Send through. Nice stop. He went straight that time, he didn't flare. Nice stop. Now on this right hand over, he digs back, an angle back. We treat that as a mistake, not a disobedience. We stop and handle him in. The hand is below the shoulder, blowing a come in whistle, but when the hand is below the shoulder, the dog is to come in. When the hand is even with the shoulder, he's supposed to take a 90 degree over, and above the shoulder, he's supposed to take an angle or a straight back there. Send through after stopping.
Pete's about 11 months old in this video. Little bit of a bow, not bad. Hold the line in my le right hand. Use my left hand as part of the command to go. A little bit of a roll, but nothing atrocious. We cast left hand over. I want him to go to. We want him to go to his nine o'clock. So I cast to my nine o'clock. He digs back. We just stop him, call him in, stop him again, cast over. We're getting quite a lot of wind noise on the audio from the track there, the audio track to when we recorded the video. So we've muted that. So but you can't hear, but we're stopping him on the whistle. We're giving commands over and back. And then we've picked up all our directional commands. So we'll line through the pile twice, send through to the back pile twice to end the drill. Single T with Pete. He's 11 months old. That was once. We'll send him through once more. And that'll be it.